Now that we have discussed the divisibility properties for the polynomials, now comes the most important theorem in the branch of polynomials called the remainder theorem. Remainder theorem helps us mostly in finding the remainder when a polynomial divided by another polynomial. You can directly use the theorem to find the remainder without constructing to the, to the long division method. So let's see what the remainder theorem says in its own definition. Remainder theorem As the theorem says remainder theorem, this theorem dedicates in identifying the remainder of a polynomial divided by another polynomial is the first thing which we note from the theorem called the remainder theorem. Something relates to the remainder indivisibility. If I take a function f of x with the condition that the degree of f of x the degree of the function f of x is not equal to 0, then let's see what the definition says or what the theorem states for this function f of x. So with the first condition that I take the polynomial f of x with degree of the polynomial f of x being non-zero, then in that case, that is, f of x is not a constant polynomial. In exception to the constant polynomial, if the function or the polynomial f of x is divided by x minus a. Now we all know that this is a linear polynomial because the power of x is 1 and hence this is a linear polynomial with the condition that a is a constant or a real number. So my theorem says that if a polynomial f of x whose degree is non-zero is divided by a factor x minus a or divided by a linear polynomial x minus a with a belonging to set of real numbers then remainder of f of x denoted by capital R is nothing but f of a is how I understand the theorem, remainder theorem in its own definition. <coughs> Here we have the remainder which is directly the polynomial in which the value a is substituted and a is nothing but derived from the linear polynomial. For a polynomial f of x with degree being non-zero if divided by a linear polynomial x minus a for a belonging to all any real number, then the remainder of the polynomial f of x is directly f of a. Is how the polynomial is related to the constant of the linear polynomial in the divisibility is what the remainder theorem states. Now let's see an example problem to understand the remainder theorem more better. Let's try to apply the remainder theorem in real life. So coming to the remainder theorem, we have already defined that for any polynomial divided by a linear polynomial, then the remainder is directly connected to the factor of that linear polynomial into the polynomial. So we are going to use that theorem concept when we do, when we do certain problems related to remainder theorem. For example, if I have my question which says find the remainder when the polynomial f of x or p of x when the polynomial p of x equals x cube minus 3x square plus 4x minus 1 is divided by x plus 2 is the question. The question is very clear about finding the remainder when the polynomial which is x cube minus 3x square plus 4x minus 1 is divided by the linear polynomial x plus 2. So let's see 
how the re re remainder theorem can be applied for this particular example problem. As the polynomial is given to be p of x is x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x minus 1, the first thing I identify is that this polynomial is not a constant polynomial. The first condition for remainder theorem is that degree of p of x should not be equal to 0. And clearly, the degree of p of x is 3, and hence, 3 is non-zero. Therefore, it satisfies with the first condition of the remainder theorem. Secondly, the second part of the given question is about the linear polynomial. Therefore, the given linear polynomial is x plus 2. And if I compare this with x minus a, <laughs> as given in the theorem statement, I clearly see that when I express x plus 2 in x minus a form, as given in the remainder theorem, I have this x plus 2, which can be written as minus of minus 2. I extract minus out of plus, then one minus sign remains inside the bracket, so that minus into minus is plus, which retains back x plus 2. So the reason why I write this in this form is to extract in the form x minus a. So this a is nothing but the minus 2. Therefore, I have my a, which is minus 2, belonging to the real numbers. The constant, the non-zero constant a is minus 2 in case of this problem. So this is the step 2 of identifying a. Step 1 of satisfying the condition of degree of p of x being non-zero and step 2 identifying the value of a and step 3 is finding the remainder itself. Now, for the polynomial p of x when divided by x plus 2 the remainder is f of a or p of a or this is p of minus 2 this is strictly by remainder theorem. <coughs> remainder theorem clearly says that when a polynomial which is non-zero degree is divided by a linear polynomial the remainder is f of a or p of a. In this case a being minus 2 it is p of minus 2. Without any long division method process we can directly find the remainder using remainder theorem. So let's see how the remainder can be evaluated for this p of minus 2. Therefore, when I evaluate this, I get the remainder which is p of minus 2 and p of minus 2 is the value which is obtained by substituting the value of x equal to minus 2 in the given polynomial p of x. Therefore, when I have p of x replaced with x being replaced with minus 2, equally the x gets replaced with minus 2 on the right side. So I have this to be minus 2 whole cube minus 3 of minus 2 whole square plus 4 times minus 2 and minus 1 is what we get when we expand by substitution of x equal to minus 2 on the right side of the given polynomial. When this is further simplified, I get this to be minus 8 minus 3 times of minus 2 whole square which is 4 and minus 8 and minus 1 and this comes out further minus 8 minus 12 minus 8 minus 1 which on simplification gives 12 times 8 20 20 12 plus 8 20 28 29 which comes out to be negative 29 therefore I get the value of remainder for the given polynomial Remainder of p of x is minus 29 is what I get finally using the remainder theorem. Remainder theorem helps me in finding the remainder when a polynomial is divided by a linear polynomial with the conditions out here. Continue. Now let's see how we can verify the remainder theorem using the long division method. Because this is the property which we have used directly through the remainder theorem which states the remainder is directly f of a or p of a. 
for x minus a being the div div divisibility polynomial. So here we are going to see the verification process whether we really get the remainder to be minus 29 when we just solve through the long division general method. So I have the polynomial, the dividend out here and the divisor which we are going to take at the, this thing. Dividend and the divisor which when divided gives me x cubed minus 3x square plus 4x minus 1 when divided by x plus 2. Let's find the quotient and the remainder most importantly to verify for the remainder as obtained through the remainder theorem. So as we know through the long division method as discussed in the previous sessions x times x squared gives me x cubed 2 times x squared is 2x squared which on subtraction gives me this cancelled and I get this to be minus 5x squared plus 4x minus 1. I just drop in these two down here. Now the next second division method says my x when multiplied with minus 5x gives me minus 5x square and hence I just put in minus 5x square in the quotient so that this multiplied with this gives me the equal term as in the top is how we understand the long division method. 2 times of minus 5x is minus 10x and then when I subtract again the signs change and this gets cancelled plus and minus of the same sign get cancelled and that is the intention why I make the terms equal through the quotient by adding or subtracting the terms. 10 plus 4 is 14x minus 1 minus 1 dropped straight down. Now this has to be made equal with x so obviously it is 14 which is multiplied with x therefore my quotient gets added with 14 so that 14 times of x is 14x plus 14 times of 2 which is 28. Again using the same process of subtraction the signs change and this get cancelled and minus 1 minus 28 is minus 29 which is the remainder which is the quotient and most importantly when I see the remainder as done through the long division method I get the value as minus 29 and when I use the remainder theorem with its own statement I get the value of remainder which is minus 29 and hence they are same which concludes that my remainder theorem is very much true to its best. Remainder theorem is most important in finding the remainder of the polynomial's divisibility. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.